Splash season is here. I said that like it's really exciting. But Andrea Bucket is also here, and that is exciting. She is leaning into fall with some comforting and really delicious recipes to try out. So welcome back to the kitchen. Thank you so much. I like squash. I think it's exciting. I, okay, good. <laughs> Listen, um, but it, yours is exciting because it yes. tastes really good. I want to remind everybody, please scan the QR code. You are going to want this recipe. Andrea was annoyed at me because the hero shots underneath She's here, and I keep picking it. at it. It's really good. Before we start, yes. happy birthday, friend. Thank you so much. I know you celebrated yesterday. Yeah, I did. I did. By making squash. I did, yeah. <laughs> and, and bring it to you guys. It's, this is delicious. I love this. But yeah. Thank you. For the how, do we, how do we make it so I can okay, hurry up so, and eat it? Okay, so, I mean, squash is abundant right now, and there's so many different varieties to choose from. For the first one, we are going to do a braised delicata squash with coconut curry. That sounds fancy. It's a Thai coconut curry. So I like the delicata squash because they're quite small. They're easy to handle. And you can actually also eat the skin. Oh, okay. Which most people, now listen, my husband might tell you otherwise. Okay. But I enjoy the skin. I like the fiber. I like the texture. And this is really pretty. So we're going to start here in our pan. We've got some olive oil browning off some of those delicata squash pieces. Mm -hmm. And you want to get them just into their nice and golden oh, brown. Nice. Uh, we're going to give it a little bit of salt and pepper, of course, as always. This is kind of like, uh, I have these five ingredient recipes that people love. This oh, is, I do I love them. I think this is five ingredients, actually, aside from the salt and pepper. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're going to go in with some Thai curry paste. So I'm going to okay. get you just to put some in there. We're going to make a little well in the center and get Do you want you all put, of it? You know what? Put it all in. Oh, put it all in. Okay. Yeah. And is this grocery store ready? Like I can get grocery this in a store jar? Grocery okay. store ready. A little Thai red curry. You could use the green curry if you like. And then I'm going to get you to whisk in this yeah. coconut milk. So I always say do like a full fat coconut milk here. Uh, and this is going to cook down with all that delicious curry flavor. And you're going to get a beautifully delicious braised Ooh, the squash. The color is already good. I know. It looks really delicious. Am I doing this right? Is it stressing you, you out? Okay, no, not stressing me out at all. Okay. Actually, you're helping me out here, Emery. You're a great Ooh, sous chef. Here it comes. <laughs> all right, so this is what it looks like when it's done, when that coconut oil, ha or that, sorry, the coconut uh, milk has had a chance to cook down and make the squash nice and tender. Then we're going to oh, go in with some crunchy so bits, right? Because everything is nice and sort of soft and buttery with that squash. Some uh, roasted peanuts, and then, of course, a little bit of cilantro. cilantro. Yes. If you're cilantro adverse, I hear you. Attila, our director, cilantro yes. adverse. Attila, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. uh, do a little bit of basil for interest or some oh. parsley. Oh that is so good. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Just an easy way to switch up your squash. I know we all love our roasted squash and our, you know, and squash And really, soups. that was it? That's yeah. it. It's that easy? Yeah. It takes about 15 minutes to cook down that uh, coconut mm. milk, okay, okay. but so good. Oh. All right, next up, we're going to start over here. I'm going to move my dirty dish out of the way one second. All right. Okay. Uh, we've got some butternut squash here, and we just sliced it into steaks. So essentially, you're cutting the butternut squash in half, peeling it, and then you're going to cut down that straight side and just cut it into these little you steaks. You must be very strong. I find butternut squash very difficult to cut. And so for you to get it this thin? Well, I mean, this was Jason, our food stylist. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, have you seen the pipes on Jason? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> but you know what? It's, you need a heavy knife for this. And this is when people say, what kind of knife should I use? For things like squash, get yourself a knife that has a bit of weight to it. Okay. Don't use like a flimsy knife. Okay. All right. A little bit of, uh, we're going to do some cayenne and well, some smoke. No, this is smoked paprika. Oh, yeah. Look at the amount of cayenne. If that was cayenne, that's a whole lot of cayenne, Emery. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to pop this in the oven. Okay. And we're going to grab our finished ones. And we have a beautiful <gasps> sausage Ooh. and cream. That sauce too, by the yes. way. Oh, my goodness. Let's pop this on here. Okay, what's in this, Andrea? Okay, so sausage, spinach, cream, and a little hit of olives and Ooh. raisins. Raisins? I know, a little bit of, we're gonna pop this okay. on here, sorry. I'm gonna trust you on the raisins. I'm speeding up here. No, no, we got a minute. You're oh, good. we do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can slow jam, you can slow this jam, slow it right down. Wait, 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 if we have a minute, I'm not done, Amber. Okay, I'm <laughs> really hungry. We're gonna garnish with a little topper. We've got some olives, pepitas, and lemon zest, okay. just to give it a pop. <laughs> Are you going to pop it? Here, I'll take this. You want to take that? that? Ooh, All nice right. tray. Beautiful. So this is a nice, really, this is sort of like an all-in-one meal. And this is when squash can take the leading role of a main. Okay, now can now I get Now you can my, eat. Now I can get it. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to try this sauce because, oh, my God. Yeah, that's what? a good one. Oh, crap. And then the sweet from this? Sorry, yes. my mouth is full. No, it's good. Mm. Yeah, this recipe is a really nice one. It's great. It oh. does have a touch of meat in there, but really squash plays uh, the main character, and it's delicious with that spicy and smoky vibe. Spicy and smoky and yeah. a little bit sweet. Raisins. With the, it's not the raisins. It's the butternut squash, isn't oh. it? But there's raisins in there, too. Yeah, no, I know. Right. I'm trying to avoid them. <laughs> but, this, but this is so, so good. Good. Honestly, do you want to do the throw? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
You can find today's recipe by scanning our QR code. You're gonna want to. Both of these are so delicious, okay. Andrea. After the break. If you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.